Uh, what did you learn looking back? I know you can't do a ton of film because you got to turn and get ready for Utah State, but what did you learn from, from what, what Wyoming was trying to do against you guys? Um... I think uh, I think the biggest you know one of the biggest ta takeaways defensively um, is that we got to be better right at, st at stopping the run and, and getting off the field. Um, coming in, we knew Wyoming was going to run the ball and they're going to try to eat clock. And uh, you know that first quarter, they they really did that. And I think uh, I think that's one of the biggest things is we've got to be able to uh, really win first downs um, and get off the field. And then Kevin. Hey, Tyler, you may or may not know this is the last time BYU is going to play Utah State in, in quite a while. How do you feel about that? Do you wish the rivalry would go on? And as a player, what? how do you feel about playing an in-state foe like Utah State? It's a lot of fun. I, I think uh, here in Utah we have – we have a lot of good teams, and we've had a lot of good teams, um, you know, between all the universities. So it's uh, it's always fun. It's always fun to play uh, in-state rivals, and so I think that's something. Yeah, we'll uh, we may miss for a couple years, um, which honestly, I you know I'm a little bit conflicted. You know, you're you're bummed because you may not play them for a couple years, but at the same time, we're going into a new era where we get to play a, a lot of new teams. Um, in the Big 12, and, and that's really exciting. Tyler, you mentioned the, the first quarter um, of the Wyoming game. I'm curious, going into Utah State, is there any emphasis for the defense to kind of start faster, or have a have a first quarter after kind of Oregon and, and Wyoming to, to be a little bit, is there any emphasis on the first quarter? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, every, every game, I think, especially defensively, you need to, you need to come out and make a statement uh, and so uh, I think that's, you know, something we're, we're definitely, again, looking to do this week, um, come out in, in that first quarter and, again, just do our job, right? Uh, get three and outs, get off the field, and give the, give the offense the ball back. Sean, Kevin, Tyler, Kevin, Sean, and then Jared. Yeah, Tyler, I don't want this to sound like a, any sort of excuse or anything like that because both teams are obviously going through the same schedule situation, whatever. But I think this is the tightest turnaround that you guys have had for a little while. You played some Friday games, but not a ton of Thursday games. What's the hardest part from a player perspective about having fewer days kind of to prepare? Is it the lack of lack of practices? Is it less time for film study? Like, what's what's the most difficult part about the the tight turnaround? Um, yeah, I think you know. Uh less days, you know, get a le little less rest in between games. Um, I think also, yeah, just lack of time, right? Uh, <laughs> with, 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 such a, with such a quick turnaround, right, you just don't have a lot of, you don't have a lot of time to uh, necessarily prepare for film study, for those, you know, practices. Um, and so everything's really condensed and, and has to be in order to be, be ready for that, that next game. So I think, yeah, it's just not having the same amount of time. I don't know if you heard Kalani just a few minutes ago talking about how he was surprised that the team wasn't playing at the level that he kind of thought they'd be able to at this point, not as crisp. And he took a lot of that on himself, saying, as the head coach, that's my job. When you hear the coach or, or when, when, you, when you think of that, what do the players need to do, the leaders particularly, your defensive leader, what do you guys have to do to facilitate that team wide? Yeah, good question. Um... I think uh, I think I think we all expected us to have a little bit uh, better rhythm defensively and just have things clicking a little bit better. Um, honestly, I think uh, it's 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 really a hard it's a hard question to answer, um, right? Because I mean, if if we if we knew all the answers, we'd be we'd be rolling, right? We'd you know we'd have the best defense in the nation right now. Um, <laughs> So that's a hard, that's a tough question to answer. I, I think uh, really looking forward um, and, and looking backward at, at what we've learned um, over the course of these first few games is is it just comes down to assignment, sound football, just the fundamentals. 
Um, and so I think if our defense can really, really focus in on that and, and focus in on, you know, just what we do as a defense and how we play football and just stay true to our, our identity, I think, uh, you know, this game and, and the rest of the season, um, we'll be able to uh, play at, at, that, at that really high level that we all know that we can. Jay, go ahead. Tyler, I want to ask you about your fellow defensive lineman, uh, John Nelson. I think he's from kind of your neck of the woods down there in South Utah County. What's he all about, and uh, what kind of an improvement have you seen from him this year? Yeah, so so John is uh, from Salem, so right right there next to Payson. Um, you know, it's a heated high school rivalry, so me and John are always ribbing each other. Uh, it's 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 a lot of fun. Um, John's awesome, uh, really really hard worker, and yeah, he's. He's uh he's worked his butt off this off season um, to just get bigger, stronger, faster, uh, better technically, um, and and it's showing up on the field. Uh, he's making plays. He's he's being physical, and so yeah, it's he's he's been an awesome an awesome uh, uh, tool for us to have on the D line. All right, we'll take the last question from Jake. We chat on a good one here. Uh, Obviously, you've got the mustache. If you guys on the team, they're sporting them. Who do you consider to have the best mustache on the squad outside yourself? Um, yeah. I'll go with Clark Barrington just because his is his has probably been around for the longest. You know, most iconic. There's a shirt out there with his mustache on it. So, uh, yeah, we'll say Clark. Okay. 